hello friends welcome back so guys today demonstration we will understanding the concept of pipeline debug okay so how you can use a pipeline debug property in web method also we will see in details the pipeline debug property purpose in web methods okay so uh, before wasting time we'll start the demo so let's suppose this is my service okay uh, paint loop demo this is my service okay and here you can see the pipeline debug option okay let me maximize this wait a while see here you can see the pipeline debug properties okay and there are total four ways like none option is there save option is there restore option is there and restore merge option is there okay so if you use the pipeline debug property to save or restore the pipeline for a flow service at a runtime okay so this ability to save and restore the pipeline is especially useful when you are uh, like testing and debugging the services and troubleshooting the particular services okay so let's suppose if you set a pipeline debug like if you set this property as a save then integration server saves the entire content like this content whatever operation perform in backend the entire content of the pipeline to a file just before the service execute okay and you can use this data to save pipeline file to debug and troubleshooting the services or restore the pipeline okay so as we saw save option if you uh, like uh, select this property pipeline debug property as a save then integration server save the pipeline to a file before service execute okay and if you restore the like if you select this option okay so those content you save on a pipeline like on pipeline like integration server save the content of pipeline to a file so this file uh, in the, like integration server use for debugging and testing purposes okay and if you want to overwrite if you want to merge the data the particular pipeline that a case we use restore or restore merge option in a web method okay so but, but as i like as i say save and restore pipeline will perform the important role to testing and debugging the code in a web method okay so how you can do that like if you set a none uh, none option like the pipeline debug property as a none then what happen service you can execute but the content not save on a like uh, entire content not save integration server not save the content on a pipeline uh, like if you want to debugging the code what happened to operation perform be, being in between the service you cannot see you cannot take those particular file to debugging your service code okay so let me show you first we will uh, like we will discuss this option pipeline debug as a save okay so if you uh, like set pipeline debug property as a save then uh, let first save the demo then you can run the service okay run as here uh, the student document list is there s name s id s address okay field value we already mentioned here then click on okay now you can see here the a uh, particular output is there okay so those uh, particular file i want to uh, like whatever operation perform this file i want to check and i want to debug the particular code okay so what i can do just uh, like click on empty space once you click on empty space then you can see the properties okay then do one thing pipeline debug property uh, select as a restore override okay then save the demo after that you can try to debug okay so debug as debug flow service okay switch the perspective now here you can see this student this is a file which is coming from your pipeline okay pipeline file so i'll do, do the step over the particular field so this is main block then try block then it will comes 
into the map step here you can see the particular s name s id s address now once you step over the particular step then it will goes to loop over looping for the student okay then step over then it will goes to uh, map step okay now the iteration one is happen after that those list if you want list like table document is there and if you want to append this document to particular list then we'll perform the pub dot list up into document list this is inbuilt service okay after the step over then it will directly exit because the all steps are executed that's why if any error occur in that particular block it will directly get into the cache block and we use this service pub dot flow colon get last error to get all the uh, like error details with the help of you can do that okay so let me show you again so this option you can use to get back to the service okay and then click on the empty space so basically guys this option uh, we use uh, let's say you are working on the trading network mws concert like console okay and uh, for that are you like you sending this uh, document to trading network okay you set a uh, partner profiles you also define your uh, processing rule or there you mention your uh, is service okay so let for let, let's suppose you execute your service here like you run your service that time you need to pipeline debug property set as a save okay once you run the service then go back to your mws or there you can check the particular partner profiles document types identifier or not your service identify or not so those options you can check in transaction okay once you're done with that then come back to your service then restore the pipeline and then check whatever happened like document uh, like whatever content you're sending to the tl it will match or not what operation being performed so those particular details you can check yeah you can troubleshoot with the help of this option restore or right and if you set a pipeline debug as a save then integration server save the con pipeline contained to a file just before the service execute none it means it will uh, like you can execute the service no problem but the content not will save on your uh, pipeline yeah i know file okay so guys that's all about today's demonstration if you like this video then please subscribe to my channel you can also uh, don't uh, so don't forget to like share and comment okay we will see you in next workshop so stay happy stay connected and thank you so much thank you guys